Our sixth question is the potential energy of a freely falling object decreases progressively. Does this violate a law of conservation of energy? Why? Let us first understand the mechanism of freely falling body. For example, this ball is falling from a certain height. It has started falling towards downward and it has reached till the ground. Now when it is at the top, its potential energy is maximum and its kinetic energy is minimum at this level because it is at the resting position and whatever potential energy it has achieved that is due to this height when we have taken this ball and kept at this position it has we have done some work on that and due to that this ball has gained some energy and this energy is due to its position so that is potential energy now at this point the potential energy is maximum and kinetic energy is minimum now when it's starting to fall it's slowly its potential energy is starting to convert into kinetic energy and as it is coming down almost all the potential energy will convert into kinetic energy so here potential energy when it is reaching till the ground and when it is reaching at the bottom the potential energy will be minimum and kinetic energy will be maximum so its velocity will increase throughout this journey because it's all the potential energy is converting into kinetic energy but throughout this journey the potential energy and the kinetic energies addition and the sum will remain constant and that is equal to me mechanical energy that when both of them will be together that is equal to mechanical energy so nowhere at the point there will be a loss of energy there is no loss of energy whatever potential energy was there it has been converted into kinetic energy so throughout this journey there is no loss of the energy so it is not violating a law of conservation of energy energy is conserved energy is just transferring from one form to another form the total energy is remaining constant and that we can say that at any point of time the total energy equals to potential energy plus kinetic energy equals to mechanical energy so at each and every point we can see there is a difference in potential energy and kinetic energy but the addition of them will remain constant throughout this journey so in this situation there is no violation of law of conservation of energy So hope this video has solved your doubt. In coming videos, we are going to cover some important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.